beautiful Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, and welcome to your October 2023 forecast reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're doing well, feeling safe, and feeling blessed because you are. So let's go ahead and get started on your message. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. What can Taurus, the zodiac sign Taurus, expect? In the month of October 2023. All right. So you have the Ace of Swords, which is all about the truth and clarity. There's another sword, a Knight of Swords. So the Ace of Swords, truth, clarity, confirmation. It's also a big communication card, and it could also represent the starting of a new project. All right. Tell us more. Queen of Swords. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. So it's all swords. <laughs> Let me see here. You're going to be receiving some communication, but I'm glad that you're watching this because it'll give you a heads up about what this communication is about. It feels like something that you'll have to make a very swift decision about. You won't have much time to think about this. All right. Um... Yeah, you won't have much time to think about this. So Taurus, pretty much what I'm seeing here, you're going to be receiving news. You're going to be receiving some information. That's why you're sitting in the Queen of Swords energy. Notice how she has a sword in one hand and in the other hand, she's extending it. You know, she's saying, okay, let me see what you're showing me or speak. I'm listening. Queen of Swords is known to be very clever, very intelligent, and very knowledgeable. And despite her no-nonsense, uh, you know, energy, her no-nonsense mentality, uh, she's very understanding. The Queen of Swords is known to be an excellent communicator. So there's definitely going to be back and forth communication between you and someone or you and people. But I feel like this is information that will be presented to you. That is why you're in this Queen of Swords energy. It's coming towards you really, really fast. Uh, you won't know what to do or what to say. But as clever, sharp, and witty as you are, you will be able to see the truth. You will be able to filter, uh, filter. you will be able to filter through the information given to you in order to discover the truth, okay? The Queen of Swords is also known to be very discerning. Believe it or not, as logical as the King, King and Queen of Swords are, they have a strong intuition that helps them guide them correctly. So they're able to see things very accurately, even if there is deception surrounding the situation. But with the Eight of Swords here, this information that will be presented to you, it's going to put you in this Eight of Swords sort of headspace where the Eight of Swords is someone who's in a mental prison, all right, stuck in your head. And it's even going to put you in a Nine of Swords, which is a person who is in distress, someone who is having sleepless nights because there's so much on their mind. It looks like this is an urgent matter. And you're going to be made aware of this. The communication that you will receive is going to be very clear. So, of course, we're going to continue this message. I'm going to do my best to uncover more messages, more insight, more detail about the situation that is coming towards you. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. If you would like to watch the full reading or the extended reading, I invite you to uh, check out the description box. You'll see the link there. I will also pin uh, the link in the comment section. So it should be the very first link that you see. Take care, everyone. Many blessings to you, and I will see you in the extended.